I was doing some research online because we're getting in preparation for our full-time RV life. So looking at uh, benefits for disabled veterans and things like that, that's going to help with the costs, uh, reducing the costs for um, you know traveling and staying in state parks and national parks and stuff like that. So I found online that there are benefits for disabled veterans. I happen to be a disabled veteran, so um, they have a program where you can go and get a lifetime pass for all national parks. Uh, so I called them up. They said they have them available here in Eufaula, which is about a half hour from where we live. And so I drove down to check it out. So I'm going to go in and uh, see if it works. And I'll be back and let you know. I got my access pass, national parks, for disabled veterans. It's uh, America the Beautiful. There are some restrictions on this. It doesn't you know, give you like free access to like camping uh, and amenities and things like that. It's just an access pass that gets you into the national parks. Um, but it doesn't limit you to just you as a person, it limits you to your vehicle. So if you have a couple of people with you in the vehicle, that vehicle will get in to those, uh, those places for free, um, which includes motorcycles. Um, it does say that um, this may entitle pass holders to some discounts and you have to inquire locally so I'm sure at some places they will you know give discounts for like um, you know rentals or camping or you know stuff like that but I guess you just have to check and see um, as we uh, visit these places uh, when we get on the road um, we'll let you know you know different places and what they will allow you to do and what kind of uh, um, discounts that they give you and things like that um, and there's all kinds of national parks that will um, issue these to you. All you have to do is take your disability paperwork. And I, uh, when I was talking to the lady, she said it doesn't even have to be a um, disabled veteran. Because she's a disabled person. So if you have, like, Social Security disability, um, you know, you can take a note from your doctor saying that you're disabled. Or if you're a disabled veteran like me, you can take your VA disability claim paperwork that you got in the mail once they made a decision on your disability, and they'll issue this pass. Um, and she she said if it's lost or stolen, you know you can come back, just bring your paperwork back anytime. So it's always a good idea to keep a copy of your paperwork with you uh, or proof that you're disabled with you, um, because and this is only for national parks. So um, she did say for you know this will get you into some state parks. We'll take this too. Uh, kind of depending on what state you're in and what their rules are and things like that. But um, it's always a good idea to keep your paperwork with you, your VA disability paperwork, because you never know. You know, you go to try to get into a, a state park. They don't take this card that I just got, and um, the paperwork might um, entitle you to discounts there or free entry or discounted entry or discounts on camping and things like that. So just depends. Check it out. And as we go, we will um, let you know what uh, is afforded to us as far as discounts and I will leave a link in the description below to um, to get to the place to find the list of places that issue these so go and check it out if you qualify later